What is up, fellow YouTubers? Sub Dude Gecko 30 here, and I am back playing Rise of the Tomb Raider Blood Ties DLC. So, in the last episode, we managed to begin the DLC of Blood Ties, where, as I'm able to figure out, pretty much Lara is about to lose the manor to her no good uncle. And so right now she's pretty much looking for clues or anything to help be able to find some clues about her mother so that she can be able to find out what happened to her and hopefully able to save the manor. So let's continue on guys, shall we? One of Winston's notes. He always hit sweets for me to find. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Now, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one. In the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page, with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. This picture was taken in the library. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. I spent so, so many hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. That is so cute. <laughs> took quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. other clues we can find here. Hmm, blank, except for the image of a key. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key, but we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Ah, so that's why we need the... Ah. <clears throat> hmm, I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. 
So that's why we needed the fire. Okay, that makes sense now. I was a little confused, like, why do we need the fire? I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. Okay, so... X marks the spot, as they say. The master key. This should get me into the West Wing. The master key. All right. This should open most rooms in the manor, including the forbidden West Wing. crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number, but which one? The Pharaoh's crown. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number. High the Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm, so the birds, so that's like a five, actually. I remember this now. Yeah, Each the birds are five. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Let me see about that door that I that I missed or, like on the way here. Because I thought it actually led to the library. Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid exit from the dinner table had me concerned, and I wanted to impart something that I hope sets your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening, but I recognize that same passion in you. You're more like him than you know. Never doubt that he loves you more than his research, more than his artifacts, more than anything in this world. Storms pass, and tomorrow will be clear and blue again. When you have finished, please leave the tray outside. Be well. Yours, Winston. This led back downstairs, but I think there was a chest here that I didn't open. I 
think it was upstairs, that's where the chest was. Yeah, here it is. The Croft family crest. in that bedroom then. Amelia gone. The manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her mother only once, and I'm afraid my reaction must have terrified her. I will need Winston more than ever these next few months to help look after her. I never quite realized how much grief can consume a man, but I am utterly consumed. I know I can't escape the pain, but I will try my damnedest to avoid it. I will seal the West Wing for as long as I live in this place. It will remain exactly as Amelia left it. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it, so we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of de Mornay obligations. Free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future, whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Richard and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together. That is really sweet. Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors, and I shall not open them again until either my life or my obstinacy comes to an end. The night before, Roth told me I would someday change my mind. Like a broken arm cast in plaster, he said. The wound would heal, and we would someday shed the bandages to be whole again. The metaphor made me furious. The clumsy way he cast our loss off as nothing more than an inconvenience. There is wisdom in his rough words, but I've done what I must. Perhaps one day, Lara will throw back the doors to let the sun shine in again. Maybe she will find her own sense of peace in this place. 
At least that old thing still works. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. The inscription is faded. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather, or maybe Griffin. He was more infamous a Croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favours a, a classic such as Scarlet or Kate, though I've made some headway with Lara. A subtle nod to the sun god Ra, and our days in Egypt where certainly this child was conceived. I find myself thinking about this new life we've created, of how much she might be like us. For all my research into myths of immortality, I may have ignored the most obvious answer to the questions that plague me. We live on through our progeny, our genes, DNA, experiences passed through the generations. Perhaps this is the simple truth of eternal life, and I've just been too stubborn to accept it. Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th, Mum's birthday. Hmm, pretty sure my parents were married in October. I think it was close to her birthday. Hmm, <laughs> Mum on her wedding day. She looks so beautiful. There's a date, October something. Damn, the number is faded. Their anniversary was in October. Which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. After everything Atlas has done, how could you tell him about the expedition? This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. <laughs> it's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me, tonight, I will take care of Atlas, and then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Hmm, looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. I think that's pretty much all the clues in this room. Atelier. Dad sealed it soon after she died. He probably couldn't bear the idea of removing any of her belongings. My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. 
It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. But I do think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. Untouched for years, exactly as you left it. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. How could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen, where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step, grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate, and my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Love can and will endure. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mum died too young. Mum with me as a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself, on the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings, Richard's favourite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and I was going home. Hmm, blocks of red, Dad's favourite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. You've almost got it, darling. Here, let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. Gosh, I really hope I don't have to punch in the combinations by myself. I still have so much of Mum's work.
Okay, it looks like now I just head back. Guys, I really hope I don't have to punch in the combination. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here. And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. Okay, found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in... Okay, um... <laughs> I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say... Okay, there are blocks. Uh, there is about, like, four blocks, if I'm not wrong. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you... Okay, Lars Expedition... I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. Oh, gosh. Yeah, there was about four blocks. Okay, so four, four. Uh, da, 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 da. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. In the day of our wedding anniversary. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've... Okay, um... Ooh, let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, but, 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 let me think for myself right now. Okay... Now, let me see. Okay, so... Lars Crown, the objection symbol was four. So, let me see... Thinking, thinking. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I could be wrong, let me see. Let me see, let me see if I got this right. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so let me see, so. Five. And what was the next? So four, and nine. Oh, wow. It makes me happy to know that Dad kept us safe. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow waiting for me to find her. Oh God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but I can't face Lara. I can't look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now, and then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. Oh, no. Dad, what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Handwritten. This is the only copy. Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? 
Hmm. A blank page. Or so you think. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. I think we know a way to decipher it. See if we're right. A hidden message. That's down in the wine cellar. Okay, we gotta find our way back there. Somewhere over here. Put in the code rate. Hmm, no, that's not it. Hmm. Let me try this code. There we go. This place is a lot bigger than it looks. Did Dad build all of this just to keep his research safe? Whoa! This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. Might be able to use this to access other parts of the manor. We got the crowbar now. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west. Our future is to the south, our past is to the north. Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? My love, it is silent, so peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only immense sadness. Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more that I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. <laughs> there is so much to say, but I'm tired. Oh, the sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon, and likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared, Richard. What lies beyond? 
You know I've always struggled with faith, so I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on in her. Mum faced death alone. She was so brave. The missing page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly confident no word will get out about what I'm doing. I've been careless with presenting my findings, attracting all the wrong sorts of attention. Roth thinks I'm being paranoid by building this secret vault, but I know I'm being watched. My work is too important and potentially too dangerous. It can't fall into the wrong hands. I need a secure place to keep it all safe. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs, then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed. There is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat, I imagined that my life was being drawn from me as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes, clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead, and I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. You brought her home. She's here, somewhere. Richard. I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish, because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have choked the life from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia sooner rather than later? As Lara's legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. Man, he really hated it. He really hated him. Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Alright guys, so we are going to stop it here for now. That will be all for this time. If y'all enjoyed this episode, Dad's to please and leave a like and comment and please subscribe. I remember he used to over this late into the night. And I do hope to see you all in the next episode, guys. See y'all later. Bye-bye, guys.